Hello everyone, today we're gonna talk about vector and stack classes. These two classes wasn't initially in Java Collections framework, which was introduced in Java version 2. Um, they were supported later, but their old style methods uh, were retained for compatibility. Let's start from vector class. Uh, actually, vector class is same as a release. Um, they both save their data internally um, in the same way. And if they get full, they just grow their size by some number. Uh, but vector class has some synchronized methods, um, which allows him multi-threading and accessing uh, to not change data in a way that we don't want to. Um, so it means vector class is more safer than a realist. But if you are using um, non-multi-threading programming, you should use ArrayList because it would be a little bit uh, faster because synchronization takes some time. So let's look at uh, methods of vector class. Uh, vector class has such methods. Uh, we see here some different methods uh, as this one at element. We know that in Java Collections framework we have ele uh, we have method add, but since uh, vector class wasn't initially in Java Collection framework, we have some different methods. So this is uh, one of the examples. Uh, so let's look at stack class. So actually stack, cl stack class is like Что происходит, ё-моё? Короче, он 